I'm just recording another video here. Um, growing synthetic ruby bead material into red corundum, otherwise known as uh, synthetic ruby. Um, I'm doing this with uh, an electric arc running through a flyback transformer. Um, I don't know the exact voltage that I'm releasing here, but it's pretty cool. It's just all self-contained and uh, it's surprisingly hot on the surface of the oxide feed material. I mean, it's really hot. It gets white hot. So, um, and it's fusing. So I'm guessing it's getting well above uh, 2000 degrees Celsius. Uh, I don't know how deep this is actually traveling. Um, I was saying in a previous recording that I do have aluminum powder mixed in here, but I, I really shouldn't have put it in there because it's, it, it's a major contaminant. Um, I don't know how much uh, oxygen is actually left in the container here because the, the arc is definitely a lot more controllable. Um, I don't know. And it's just really cool because uh, it is actually fusing the chromium and aluminum oxides together and making red corundum. Um, it's just pretty cool because uh, I'm able to keep it stable and form like rather smooth droplets of uh, this corundum. And people kept on telling me this wasn't possible to to do and maybe yeah maybe not in a practical sense but now I know you can actually fuse alumina into corundum using high voltage uh, arc but this really isn't uh, using tons of power I mean I'm only drawing 4.5 yeah, around 4.5 uh, amps. Um, running at 9.1 volts on my power supply. And then I'm uh, running to this uh, ZVS driver that I bought from eBay. I've got three or four, I think I've got three of them. And this is the first one and it's still going strong even after going through a whole, uh, fly, uh, whole flyback transformer. Um, but I'm monitoring the temperature on this thing, and it's actually still quite uh, cool. I mean, it's it's warm, but I mean, this thing has been running for a while. I mean, I guess almost three minutes now. So I mean, that's really stable. That's just so cool because everything is self-contained, and I'm not leaking all kinds of uh, nasty. Uh, stuff into the air from you know using a blowtorch fusing aluminum and chromium oxides in you know in my living room now, i imagine uh, there is probably a little bit of stuff uh, escaping but this is such a minute amount there's no smoke coming up off of there and i mean the nail and the wire and everything is still it's starting to get a little bit hot but uh Yeah, it's really cool. Dining room, or I'm sorry, not dining room table. Coffee table science. Again, thanks for watching.